Welcome everybody. It is with great pleasure that I'm able to introduce you to Eva as our next speaker here at Gravity Edge 2023, as he shares his thoughts on the role of API management within PostNL. Our API journey together started in 2021 and led by Eva and his team continues to be a key component as PostNL push forward in their drive to provide their customers with the best, most state-of-the-art and seamless onboarding experience possible, which is what sets them apart from other logistics providers in this space. Enjoy the session. Good afternoon. For the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'll be talking to you about the integration in transition as we experience it within a logistics company like PostNL. And my name is Ewitz van der and I'm the manager of the hashtag include PostNL team. Within PostNL, we believe that concepts like discoverability and digital business models are not just names, are becoming more and more a reality. And there are also manifestations of these things that we can see today in technology. So while we still need to support all kinds of all technologies, uh, customers and, and business partners more and more demand uh, the use of modern integration techniques and not just on a technology basis. So what we see today is that apart from all kinds of new concepts like event streaming, uh, our business developers are also looking to expand on new customer segments to include new customer segments into the portfolio of things that we do. And for a logistics company like PostNL, that means that we are finding new partners, for instance, uh, people in the domain of warehousing or uh, other domains that we not traditionally include as our customer set, but are becoming more and more uh, that just that. And these uh, people, these partners and these uh, customers uh, want to integrate with us and their developers would like to be part of the PostNL ecosystem. So the name hashtag include PostNL refers to the C Sharp library where you can include the PostNL ecosystem within your own code. What we typically do when we integrate with customers, and this is a very classic example, is that we have a call response integration. So on the one hand side, you have a customer who is looking to print, in this case, a label on a parcel. He does a call on the back end uh, uh, within PostNL, and the response is a PDF uh, with the actual label in it. So he puts the label on the parcel, and then the next day a lorry ar ar arrives that picks up the parcels, and that's the way uh, how parcel distribution actually works. The road to all of this started quite a while ago in the 90s with us, uh, where we developed our own integration frameworks. Uh, those were homegrown developments, but what you quickly saw was that the industry took over and on the road from SOAP to REST, we're now slowly arriving at event streaming. So in that transition, you see that there is a big transition, not just from a tech perspective, but also from the fact that we've gone from homegrown, so our own development to industry standards, and also the expectations with our customers is a bit different, and with us is a bit different, because in the early days, APIs were treated like a plug in the wall that you put in and never change, uh, but more and more you see that integration requires frequent updates uh, on APIs and, and other integration system. And that's a new way of working with customers. And that creates also challenges on how you work with customers to ensure that they have a uh, good quality connectivity with us. What our commercial customers want is not very uh, strange. It's very uh, normal things that you would expect from IT in general. Um, things like reliability and uptime is key. Predictability and incident management. So for instance, uh, customers have a, a, a quite a core dependency on some of the APIs that we have 
for their core processes. So if anything happens that disturbs that, they want to be on top of that. And more and more security and privacy standards are becoming more important, given the uh, DDoS attacks and the things like ransomware and stuff like that. Cons customers are more and more sensitive to that. Uh, and customers want the right tech for the right context. That means that if a uh, file transfer works for them, they will use file transfer. If an event stream is required to do the context, they want that. So they want from us to deliver what they need when they need it. What we've done the last two years is we have migrated our old legacy API management platform onto the new Gravity platform. And one of the core reasons for us to do it this way was that we outsourced the, the whole platform to a vendor a while ago. Uh, and we sort of used that from a vendor perspective in the vendor cloud. And more and more, we're realizing that we need to take back control over such an important asset as API management. So we're bringing it into our PostNL uh, landing zone. We have our own uh, AWS cloud and we're bringing all the, uh, uh, the, the, the whole platform back into our cloud so that we can manage and host it ourselves and have control over it. So that's what we did on the commercial side. We introduced Gravity for our customers, but we also built a separate platform internally just for internal purposes. As we saw that more and more, we are creating our own development team. So we're bringing uh, software coding in-house and those teams have uh, demands on how they want to interact with each other. So we decided to build a completely separate platform just to support the integration with those internal teams. So now we have two platforms, an external facing platform and an internal facing platform. While we introduced that, we were faced with uh, uh, quite a bit of a challenge that we had to migrate all our customers from the old platform to the new platform. And the numbers are to the right. Uh, there was quite a significant uh, a number of uh, uh, customers that we had to do. Uh, in total, we ended up handling about 70,000 endpoints during the migration with a particular demand from customers where they said latency cannot not be more, must be better than 300 milliseconds. And we have a, a total volume of about 30 million calls per day. As we did this program in a sort of lift and shift fashion, so we took on board all the technical debt that we had accumulated over the last five years during that migration, we are now ready to start a program because we, we want to do this in a dedicated program to remove quite a big portion of this tech debt that we've accumulated over the last couple of years. And um, main focus of that program is that we want to make our APIs consistent. So consistent for customers, both ex in, on externally facing, so the technology, but also internally, so that the data that we and the resources that we address over those APIs we want to reduce the number of incidents and improve response times and increase, further increase our security and predictability. A number of the things that we are achieving or we're working towards are to the right uh, in this uh, slide. Now, that was the road so far. And uh, you would think that after this, after this quite big, uh, change that we've went through the last two years, uh, we would, uh, you know, work towards reducing our tech debt. But unfortunately, or fortunately, it is a matter of how you uh, look at it. Uh, technology moves on and our customers move on. So we need to prepare for the next phase of integration. Because there is a business rationale for event streaming in uh, a logistics company like ourselves. And it's not just with our customers, but also internally, we have quite a number of use cases uh, that we see where we would benefit from event streaming uh, rather than the current solutions that we have. And this page lists a few. 
So what we're preparing for is an integration pattern in two worlds. So on the one hand side, we have the current interaction call response interaction uh, with our API and our API platforms. And we both have that internally as uh, with commercial customers. We also have, still have, and perhaps some of you have that, still have that as well, uh, is uh, SFTP connections with customers. So uh, the ordinary file sharing between us and customers. And that poses in, in growing numbers security risks uh, to, uh, to the way we integrate with things. And customers are seeing that as well and uh, are asking us to find new solutions for those types of uh, challenges. Um, so we took that on board. So we are preparing for a two world um, uh, approach where we have on the one hand side a call response synchronous uh, world and on the other hand side an asynchronous publish subscribe world that we both uh, uh, we will live in both at the same time. We're building, therefore, an architecture that will support both a synchronous and an asynchronous uh, pattern, not just externally facing towards uh, uh, customers or, or within our in internal teams, but also inward facing. So the architecture itself is based on synchronous, asynchronous uh, patterns where we decouple the applications um, by using uh, event streams and call response patterns. This page is a bit busy, but uh, if you look carefully on the, on the bottom, you see on the left hand side, you see a producer of one of our bigger platforms. And on the right hand side at the bottom, you see the consumers of those services. And we've also, uh, as you can see, we have gravity as one of the elements where we would uh, position a consumer to uh, make that uh, pattern work. So this is still, uh, 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 this is paper where at the moment we're drawing up the solution, we're designing it, uh, but this is the general direction that we uh, want to move as a logistics company uh, in the next coming years. For the future state, um, what we've learned is that it really works and we really benefit from co-developing with our large customers uh, because you can uh, figure out things in isolation and hope that they will work, but it, you really benefit from having that direct customer experience and even working with them to build things for them in a POC or MVP first and then see how that grows. Um, as I said, we're going to further merge asynchronous and synchronous patterns and that poses also the challenge on bringing on governance and standards because while this grows this uh, this this streaming and also combination of streaming and uh, uh, call response patterns also the complexity grows and making sure that you understand you still understand uh, the logic of how you are building your patterns and uh, curate those as well is one of the things that we uh, foresee as one of the challenges that we need to uh, take on board. What we like to build is a predictable experience, but with the flexibility of custom IT. Thank you.